Hello, my name is Laurel, and today I'm going to show you how to create a blog using Markdown, React, and a couple of Gatsby plugins. So we're actually picking up from where we last left off in the React for Designers course. If you haven't taken the course, I highly recommend you take the course. You're going to learn so much. But if you want to follow along, no worries just set up a new Gatsby template and you should be ready to go. So this is the blog that we're going to build. As you can see, we have a couple of blog posts here. We have a dynamic URL that's generated. We have exported our markdown into HTML. We've worked with data, passing date, an image, our title, and it looks pretty good. So let's begin by creating a new folder at the root directory of our project. And I'm gonna name this, I'm gonna name this blog. Instead of blog, I'm gonna add a second folder with the name of my first blog post. Instead of style components, I'm gonna create an index.md file. This is where we're going to add our markdown, but we're also going to add front matter. Front matter is an easy way to add data to a markdown file. And we're going to pass some keys. The first one is going to be title. And we're going to say styled components. The second key is going to be the path. This is going to be the URL to our blog post. And we're going to say single quotes forward slash styled components we're gonna also pass a date this is gonna be single quotes we're gonna pass the month and the day we're also gonna pass an image so we're gonna say wallpaper in this case this is my image I'm just going to import my image from here. Copy and paste into my folder. And I'm going to add some markdown. So once I have my markdown, I actually need to install a couple of Gatsby plugins. So I'm going to do that by first going into Gatsby-Node.js. No, actually Gatsby-Config. So I actually need to install the first plugin, which is going to be Gatsby Transformer Sharp. I'm going to add another one. It's going to be Gatsby Transformer Remark. Second one that's going to be Gatsby plugin sharp. Oh, wait, no, no, yeah, we're good. So we have Gatsby Transformer Sharp, Gatsby Transformer Remark, and Gatsby plugin sharp. We're actually missing one which is the Gatsby source file system. We're going to add that by adding, opening an object and passing a key, which is going to be resolve. It's going to be backticks Gatsby source file system. I'm going to pass an option going to be a path I'm going to do dollar sign curly braces underscore underscore their name forward slash and we're going to say blog which we're going to basically telling Gatsby hey Gatsby so you're going to look for our content inside of our file directory inside of the blog folder and we're going to name this 
the name it markdown pages okay that looks pretty good oh i'm actually missing it's not forward slash it's just underscore underscore their name and then the forward slash okay got it we actually need to install this using npm but since we are using gatsby's version one we need to install the corresponding gatsby plugin to the version one that's also version one so if you're using gatsby version two you can only you can simply omit the at 1.5.33 which is the version number and you can install the latest i'll be installing gatsby source file system which is basically a way for gatsby to look inside of our file system for our content i'm also going to install gatsby transform remark and let me explain what transformer remark does it basically transforms our markdown into html and our front matter into json da data and since we're working with images we also need to install a couple of gatsby plugins to work with images the first one is going to be gatsby plugin sharp so we're installing gatsby plugin sharp but we're also going to install gatsby transform sharp and this is going to this is going to give us the benefit of being able to work with our images okay so once we have our gatsby plugin sharp we need to also install our gatsby transformer sharp and these two plugins are going to give us the benefit of being able to work with our images being able to create whether it's responsive images being able to crop our images or having different sizes okay now that we have installed all of our plugins let's run gatsby develop and let's go to localhost you know what so i'm actually getting an error here i misspelled gatsby i always do that hosts there we go let's try running gatsby develop again and it looks like it's running no errors let's go to our graph iql interface just copy this okay so now that we're inside our graph iql it's gonna look like this what we're gonna do is clear the comments out and we're gonna open we're gonna do curly braces and search for all markdown remark this is going to be all of our information that has been transformed you can see it's given us the id we're going to look for html and voila our markdown has been transformed into html let's look for our front matter wow okay this is awesome we have our title our path our date we also have our image let's look for our image oh no i think we need to pass something here let's look for our source nope let's try gatsby child image sharp we should get all our information back nope let's do slices there we go we get back our image it can be transformed into base and svg we can even get the source of our image which we're gonna need later so let's save this and do pretty fine let's do check out our image perfect it's right here this is awesome we learned how to transform our data in the next lesson we're going to learn how to dynamically create our blog post using this data if you'd like to watch more videos like this around design tools and coding for designers and beginners please subscribe to this channel